Hey, what's up? What just happened? Oh, the lighting is bad, huh? Anyway, so I think this is the craziest news in the history of Steam blockchain in its entirety. The lighting is so trash. Either ways, <laughs> like the title says, top 10 annual betrayals, but I think uh, a lot of us were expecting something like this so basically what happened is uh, the Tron well the Steemit team released an update um, an open letter basically to the community it's titled an open letter to the community HF 22.5 all right and hashtag Tron that that's really crazy right that, why why would you put up a steam it blog update or an open letter with hashtag Tron right and it's edited right now as I can see you know you might be thinking hey blind how are you recording as well as reading the open letter at the same time it's cuz I'm a genius right so what we are gonna go through the letter and also the first I mean the top three comments and look at them and try to you know just just go through them all right so I haven't done much research on it I've just read it once so as it goes on February 22nd 2020 steam witnesses launched uh, soft fork 22.2 with the sole intent to freeze the original stakes owned by steam at Inc. okay so this is one thing I've been very open about I'm not okay with anybody freezing anybody's stake or having control over anybody's wallet and I think a lot or at least I've come across a lot of members who share the same sentiment uh, whereas after the AMA or I think after the acquisition itself a lot of witnesses and a lot of community members thought that it was the right thing to do um, uh, decline voting rights uh, freeze the stake and so on because basically even though uh, Justin Sun in the AMA said that uh, they won't be using the steam at stake to vote for witnesses or vote on content or anything like that uh, well uh, I guess that didn't age very well right so let's get back to the letter originally as the core development team behind the steam blockchain and key contributor to the ecosystem steam it used their stake for continued development on the steam blockchain yada yada on board using so basically in this paragraph uh, what tron is basically trying to say is that steam it and tron have very parallel values where they're thinking about onboarding and uh, you know committed to adding value and grow the steam ecosystem blah 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 but as we can see uh, this is just basically um, sharpening the knife before they can drive it through the throat so next paragraph soft fork 22.2 was maliciously structured intending to freeze a handful of very targeted account and taking away their rights and position to their own asset and may be deemed illegal and criminal this is the line i have the biggest problem with first of all maliciously structured the steam witnesses are voted in by the community right they make the decisions for the community and we have given them consent to make these how can it be malicious if it is done by the steam witnesses right anybody who was against it would either uh unvote the, those witnesses and so on and may be deemed illegal and criminal so now basically you're calling what the witnesses do so uh, you're calling them illegal and criminal if they have the right to do it as witnesses as they have been voted in by the community they make these and if you're calling this decision illegal and criminal that means all of their prior decisions all of the hard folks all of the soft folks whatever decisions they have made was illegal and criminal was malicious then again come to think about it if you gotta be the top witness you need the freedom vote and or the block trade votes or not and and or just or one of these two votes but you know that's just me talking gibberish i guess uh, a lot of times we're not aligned with the witnesses uh, decisions in that case the best we can do is unvote them vote for someone that you know that has the same values as we as com as community have but then again you can argue that freedom vote and block trade vote 
matter more than the community votes or whatsoever let's not get into you know that and then we'll get into circle jerking and how the system was always centralized in the name of decentralized blah 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 yada yada we don't want to get into that we have something bigger and harder we need to uh we need to make sure we're fighting this right now because this basically what this open letter is an open invitation to the death of steam blockchain as it is they even threatened to hard fork and nullify all existing steam token putting every good steam holder developer and community interest at danger this is something uh unfortunately i have not much information on i'm not sure if this was part of it as you know i've not been very consistent on the blockchain so i have nothing to add or nothing to say about this this is very much against every aspect on the original purpose of decentralization and the core value of the steam blockchain and community we can't let it happen you say that as well as contradict yourself by putting in your pawns by centralizing uh, the entire thing and then again talking about purpose of decentralization and the core value of steam it doesn't make sense it's very contradictory right on march 2 2020 steam it regained the staked accounts so as to course correct the hostile behavior hostile behavior led by a small group of people and resume the order of the community i think what they're trying to it's kind of like a subtweet where they're trying when they say small group of people they're trying to talk about the 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 active members in discord groups and witness chats and all of these places the small amounts of people that make these decisions as well as the fact that it is certain votes that put these people into power uh because there are a lot of there are, i don't know what the majority stands right well the witnesses have made they have come into consensus have made this decision so we have to go with it but then again me and many other steam means we were against this we didn't want any of this to happen we didn't want the freezing of certain accounts because like i said once you start that it gets the ball rolling and then you'll find reasons to freeze other accounts and so on but whatever happened happened you know by now it's kind of like the witnesses showed some muscle and now the tron team is trying to show some muscle that's basically who has the bigger gun it's a dick measuring contest at this moment and then it goes on to commitment to the community they have three bullet points the steam blockchain will not be abandoned or merged to tron unless the community decides so how does the community decide anything through witnesses and now you have control of those witnesses <laughs> it's like hey we are doing this for your protection put the gun down this is for your protection follow me into the dungeon this is for your protection that kind of stuff deploying the next hard fork as soon as possible to reduce power down to 24 hours to one to three days in alignment to other mainstream blockchains while open for discussion for better economic implications okay before when i read it it was 24 hours i think they've rediscussed this put it into one to three days um i don't like it i think this will inevitably uh, dump the prices of steam and around all of the exchanges i think this is going to be a massive fail uh, a lot of dumping is going to happen originally it was 24 hours and now i see it's one to three days either way i don't like it the way i would like it to happen if you have to reduce the power down uh, time was i don't remember who made the statement but made it very well you would have to pay uh, pay for your power down uh, and that would be in line with the amount you want to power down and how fast like if you want to do it in 24 hours you pay more and if the amount is larger you pay more so that's that's the way i like it i think that would make the biggest sense so as not to abuse and you are more uh more aware of how much you're losing you have to measure the losses and the profits right third point for the next four to six weeks okay there are four bullet points there were three before for the next four to six weeks the steam it team will be using the voting rights to resume this order of community while having an open channel for meeting community members and witnesses the goal is to protect steam blockchain from bad actors and transparency and receive community suggestions and advice this is absolutely hilarious um i feel like i don't want to go there but it's like woo, red color flag with yellow color and how they used to rule their people kind of like that that we are going to do this and it's good for you trust us and we're going to give you four to six a week of time and if by then you don't abide by our rules we'll shoot you it's basically kind of that it's, it, 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 it's a ransom kind of situation i don't understand this this is just hilarious 
After a four to six weeks period, the SEMA team will give the governance back to the community when it's back in order and mutual agreement. Mutual agreement is the key point over here. Tron at any moment, any time can say, okay, this four to six weeks period has been over, but the steam it, I mean, the governance uh, will not be given back to the community because there is no mutual agreement, because things are not okay still now. The community is not back in order. Any of this can happen. You see, there are a lot of mays and could be's and should be's. Uh, a lot of fine lines into this. You have to remember Justin Sun owns the biggest or one of the biggest blockchains in the world, 800 dApps. Very powerful guy, very smart guy. He could be playing us for a full product uh, roadmap, four bullet points, maintain Steam blockchain running in parallel with Tron. And you have to remember at every step, Tron is the main focus, right? Launch smart media tokens, okay. Launch cross-chain atomic swaps. This is what they were talking about, which we liked. That we're not gonna have a coin uh, instead we're gonna have a cross-chain atomic swap that was nice improve overall steamy.com user experience and onboard muscle that is good then they have about smts information about SM smts uh, the ccas the user experience improvement and more rewards to witnesses which i don't agree on like uh content creators without content creators this uh without content creators and community this blockchain is nothing i don't think we have to give more to the witnesses fine we have to reward them i get it but i want content creators and community to be the focus more users okay more content good more users more content i love this this is what steam it or steam blockchain should have been more development i agree with that more liquidity we'll see about that a brighter future that's just a way of saying that we'll see what happens and we hope for a better future but all in all when i went through this the first time what i remembered was exactly what the steamit community wanted exactly why we had tribes exactly why we made communities exactly why we had steam dao exactly why we had sps these are the reasons they have again reiterated in this open letter we have been discussing about a better ui more people more users more content uh, i was never happy with giving so much away giving so much power and rewards away i always wanted content creators to be at the top because whether or not you like it make money while blogging was the best uh marketing for steam that was the time we had the most number of users and you cannot deny that it's a fact even if it was the worst by your uh in your opinion it was the best because it brought the more you most users so all i see in this letter is Except for the part where they take over the entire control, all I, ever, all I see is the things that community originally wanted and were acting upon and seeing that the CMIT team was more active in communication. We had more chances of bringing all of this come to life. We wanted more marketing. We wanted more users. We wanted more rewards. We wanted more liquidity. We wanted more development. We wanted... Uh, lowering the barriers to entry. We wanted faster signups. So you see all of this is basically what we already wanted and now Tron all comes back and he's like yeah we are doing these things and we are planning these things. No this was the community that was planning for so long. This is what the community wanted and there has been well we were getting there and now, now Tron is okay so the top three comments hmm. So leave whatever you think, um, witnesses equal strong puppets on strings, right now it is like that. So how this came about to be is that they played a very sinister game, right? Uh, centralized exchanges like Polynex, Binance I guess, uh, Hubo, I don't know how to pronounce that, Chinese governed or whatever it is, or centralized, whatever they are, they were Steam, like Polynex already delisted Steam, right? They, take con they took control of that. So. A lot of steam from these exchanges were staked up, proxied to an account, and then witnesses were voted by that. So the, <laughs> I, 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 I think a great way to tackle this system in the future is to make sure there is a time period before somebody who has just powered up can vote for witnesses. We'll see about that. So um, that's how they did it, which is very sinister. Thankfully, the sum of the steam I had on one of those exchanges wasn't touched i guess i don't know i have to go check so the first com comment more rewards to witnesses but a platform like this nothing without content okay do people use reddit instagram and facebook to see drama about reddit instagram and facebook that's what i like you know 
that's what I was saying that we don't need so much rewards going to the witnesses we can find a different way to reward them but I don't think cutting out from content creators and content and giving to the witnesses which discourages content creators and content and users is a good thing right the same thing uh, well the idea that we don't want to see so much about steam within steam is why we had tribes and communities right uh, we may it, it came to a point where steamit.com was just steamit.com slash trending or whatever was for witnesses and the steam related updates and all and we had the tribes for other sort of content and then communities came which was again you know uh, branching more of that uh, the witnesses are there, so they don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, second comment, how compatible with TRC10, TRC20 and various ERC standards does SMTs int intend to be? There's no reply on that. And the third one is in, by Ingenuity, maliciously structured, fully agree. They basically were trying to hold the stake hostage so they could do what they wanted with it. I said burn it all and they told me to fuck off. Regardless, it was Ninja Mind and promised or not, I understand what they did but do not agree with it. I'm curious though, where is 22.4? Concerning community and sheer numbers of supporters they have, those numbers represent what Steam really is. The community, as long as you all don't do anything and do drastic and have the blockchains core. Okay, yeah, so if you have the interest, the blockchain's interest at its core, the community will remain, the community will stay. I see what Engine is trying to say, and I know Engine is very passionate about Steam, and I see, I don't see why Burn It All wasn't a good option. Why didn't the witnesses take that into account? It could have been done. Maliciously structured, I've already made my point about it. Hold the stake hostage, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so that they could do what they wanted with that. Again, if we get into this, we'll get into what I was saying, the circle jerk. They're trying to earn as much as they can. Um, uh, the, 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 a lot of it, you know, it goes down a rabbit hole that not everybody wants to talk about or not everybody agrees with. Uh, but the thing about is, there is an interesting screenshot under this comment. The voted, upvoted comments are upvoted by an account that is controlled by, I guess, Justin or Ned, basically by that team, right? And there are a lot of comments being downvoted by that same account, which is absurd. But overall, yeah, tell me what you think. I think, I think this is a reaction. We could have taken it easier. We could have taken it slow. But the mistake over here that Tron did is that they proved to us what we were scared of, right? They showed us that our fears were not irrational, our fears made sense, and we shouldn't trust them. But then again, what Injun said, if you have the blockchain's interest at its core, we'll be there with you. Again, I'm going to focus on content creators, users, community, that's what Steam is about. Uh, no more circle jerking. I think a huge bubble has been burst right now, it's brought everybody back on their feet it has humbled everybody and i think this is the one time we will see the entire blockchain work together instead of being ported and uh, working against each other keeping everybody's selfish interests in in their hearts we'll see everybody coming together and doing what's best for the blockchain uh yeah i guess that's it right the community matters more than anything already a lot of dApps have been shut down. Witnesses are not happy, obviously. Mm, no more ripping off. I think it, it's really sad that it had to go this way. And <laughs> just before the witness meeting and the town hall, it's going to make those a lot more interesting because it's when I say interesting, a lot more hostile. They were scared of a hostile takeover we were scared of a hostile takeover we made a hostile move now they have re retaliated with a hostile move also we have to just wait and watch what happens so until then signing out <laughs>